they can do it themselves, and that will give them a sense of pride, purpose, potential. A man who used to live on the streets here in Nashville claims to have the answer to Metro's homeless problem, and he says money alone won't do it, pointing to the $50 million city leaders have committed to this crisis since 2022. Fox 17 News' Karen Aguilar is live near one of the city's homeless camps with his suggestions tonight. Karen. Chris Feiselman used to call a camp home, and he tells me he wants to keep them open. Now, this is as close as we can get to a camp that is a growing problem here in Nashville. It's right here behind me, past the trees and near the gates. Chris tells me that instead of closing camps like these, offer the homeless incentives for them to keep things clean. This is our place. Chris Feiselman is a recovering drug addict and survivor of the streets who has his own place now. This is me when I was cleaning up Brookmead. He has come full circle from crack cocaine addiction and homelessness to sobriety, and he believes he knows the answer to the high cost of homelessness. So you think encampments, they are beneficial to those that are experiencing homelessness? If they could be done right. But the very first step that I, I think the Homeless Outreach Commission needs to take is to negotiate with them, give them a dumpster, but give them the tools they need to clean it themselves. Instead of city leaders closing camps down, Chris says, make them a temporary solution, a bridge to more permanent housing. But community advocates like Barry Dupnik say camps like Old Tent City have to go. There's just such a huge amount of trash, violence, and crime that goes on down there, um, you know, which is super concerning. Metro has open land. Chris suggests they use it to create camps they can regulate and offer a hand up. He says having the homeless selling pamphlets like these is better than them holding signs begging for money. They need a negotiator, a liaison, somebody they trust. Dupnik concedes something like that might work if there was a police presence. Metro Office of Homeless Services says it has people in the camps weekly and only closes camps down when the people have housing. Critics say that there is no proof for what Chris is suggesting actually works. But we did locate a few cities across the country, including Los Angeles and Portland, Oregon, that are doing just that. Reporting live in downtown, Karen Aguilar, Fox 17 News, your co-station.